Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Friday the 18th of June. It's lovely to have you here with us this morning. Welcome. I'm going to be using the Book of Common Prayer this morning. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come. Let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. One of the psalms that is allocated for this morning is Psalm 92. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most Highest to tell of thy loving kindness early in the morning and of thy truth in the night season. Upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the lute, upon a loud instrument and upon the harp. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy works and I will rejoice in giving praise for the operations of thy hands. O Lord, how glorious are thy works! Thy thoughts are very deep. An unwise man doth not well consider this, and a fool doth not understand it. When the ungodly are green as grass, and when all the workers of wickedness do flourish, then shall they be destroyed for ever. But thou, Lord, art the most highest for evermore. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, lo, thine enemies shall perish, and all the workers of wickedness shall be destroyed. But mine horn shall be exalted like the horn of a unicorn, for I am anointed with fresh oil. Mine eye also shall see his lust of mine enemies, and mine ear shall hear his desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and shall spread abroad like a cedar in Lebanus. Such as are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of the house of our God. They also shall bring forth more fruit in their age and shall be fat and well liking, that they may show how true the Lord my strength is and that there is no unrighteousness in him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament reading that is allocated for this morning is Job chapter 24, but I'm going to continue now with the Tadeum. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. 
To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabbath. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honourable, true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up for ever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name, ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us, as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. And the New Testament reading that is allocated for this morning is Romans chapter 11, verses 1 to 12. I say then, Hath God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Wot ye not what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and digged down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more the, no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. And David saith, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back alway. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. 
but rather through their fall salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham that he would give us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. 
O Lord, who never failest to help and govern them whom thou dost bring up in thy steadfast fear and love. Keep us, we beseech thee, under the protection of thy good providence and make us to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father God, we bring to you our prayers this morning. We pray for our world. We pray for all the countries where there is unrest. And we ask that you may bring peace. We pray for all of the countries that are struggling still against the coronavirus. Countries where there has been a sharp increase in the number of cases. Countries that are struggling to get hold of vaccines for their people. Father, we pray that the vaccines may be available in all countries and that they may be swiftly rolled out to all of the citizens. Father, we pray for a swift interruption to the spread of this virus around the world. We thank you that in this country, the vaccine rollout has been very quick and efficient, and we pray that that may continue. Father, we continue to pray for our town of Rayleigh. We pray for all of the people who live here, for the people who work here, the young people who are at school here. We pray for the residential homes and the residents there. We pray for our church and all of the churches around Rayleigh. We pray for the church communities beginning to come together and gather again. Father, we ask that you will help us to serve our community. We pray for all of those who are unwell at this time. We ask for healing for them. We pray for those who care for them 
whether in hospital or at home, and ask that you would give them strength and energy that they need. And Father, we pray for all of those who have been bereaved, those who have lost loved ones recently, and those who continue to mourn the passing of a loved one. We ask that you will give those who mourn strength, comfort and Father we pray for those who have left prayers in the Allen Chapel we pray for this lady's mum, Lily, who will be going into a home. We pray that she will be looked after as the family have been looking after her. And Father, we pray for another family, Christopher, Amanda, Sarah and Janet who have lost their dad. Their prayer is for Jesus to keep surrounding them as a family, that he will protect them, love them and comfort them and bring family healing. And we have another prayer request for Janet, Sarah, Amanda and Chris, that they may have healing in the family and strength and peace since the passing of their husband and dad. Father, we know that you hear our prayers when we come to you. Finally, we, we bring you ourselves this day. We ask that you would continue to strengthen each one of us and to guide us as we travel through this day. Help us to be the places you would have us be. Help us to speak to the people you would have us speak to. Help us to stay close to you. Father, we thank you that you hear our prayers as we pray in the name of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. It's been lovely that you can join us this morning. I hope that you have a lovely day and I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. God bless. Goodbye.